A war injury can steal a soldier's limbs, yet it doesn't have to steal their spirit. That's the message behind Bob Wilson's golf clinics. The retired sailor lost both his legs below the knees in 1974, yet he never lost the power behind his golf swing. Military source reporter Ashley Jacobs takes us to the green. One ball at a time. Bob Wilson swung his way through rehab. Family and the motivation on my own part about golf and whatever forced me to go, you know, really pump it through rehab. And that's why I was able to play golf, what, six months or four months later after the accident. Without his legs. Wilson says golf is the best sport for rehab because you're not playing against other people. You're playing against yourself and the course. The more you play, the better you get and the faster you heal. If you can walk uh, and play golf. In an 18-hole round, you're probably going to be using every muscle in your body. For more than 20 years, he's traveled the country teeing off to motivate other wounded warriors. He goes into great detail when teaching the fundamentals. So it, when the person takes their first swing, the ball goes airborne. Okay? And when that happens, the smile that's on that person's face, you never forget. So I've got 18, 20 years of smiles which is kind of like my motivation to keep going and keep going and keep going and keep doing it. An aggressive tumor began taking over this soldier's face years ago. When doctors removed it, he also lost a lot of bone and tissue. Facial reconstruction forced them to take bones from his lower leg, leaving him walking with a cane. This is a new sport. It's the first time I'm trying this. Actually. So it's fun. Yet it doesn't come without challenges. I got nerve pain in my leg, and, I, and once I'm hitting the ball, there's a little pressure in the left and I can feel the pain. However, when the ball goes flying, a smile replaces the pain. That's Wilson's favorite part. Watching him smile or having him say thank you. And the 69-year-old has no plans to walk away from them anytime soon. Ashley Jacobs, WJCL, Fox 28, thecoastalsource.com. Bob Wilson is the executive director of the National Amputee Golf Association. He's also had an impact on PGA decisions regarding amputee participation. For more information, you can go to our website, Alan, thecoastalsource.com.